Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. How's it going? So today is demo day number two out here in the trailer. We're gonna get back to work, get some more things done. We're gonna try to get this other chair removed. This week we gotta go to Home Depot and buy some materials. Yep, let's do it. All right, you guys, so when we last left off, Gary had just finished taking out this uh, seating and he had to rearrange the outlet plug and whatnot. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this seating and get this one gone, but uh, there's no time like the present, so let's get it on. Let's do it. Cushions. Cushion. Wood. Let me use that stick real quick. Huh? That's gonna be in the middle of the floor. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's gonna be underneath the floor. So I just run into another issue. Which if we knock this out, I mean, I don't know if we want to, we weren't planning on it. One thing at a time. Okay. Let's remove the side. Okay. definitely put this whole thing together and then slapped on the outside walls. Pains in the butt. Dang Gary, you have like a mountain of sweat glistening off your forehead. Let me try to get this guy. Try with the key. So before I keep going and tearing in, I've got some screws coming in and out of the ground. So I gotta grind them off. I know, I know, I should have wore eye protection the last time. I got some sunglasses. I know it's not ideal, but something's better than nothing, right? All right, so I've got a screw right here, as well as I've got a screw down here at the ground. So I've gotta screw that off and get this guy off. I don't wanna be stepping on it or falling on it or bumping into it whatsoever because that would suck so let me grind these off real quick and I'll be able to get at it on this side and get everything torn apart Let's get this top piece off, expose everything else, see what's holding everything 
through this wall together per se. So how much are we going to gain space-wise if we take this whole thing out? I know it's not a lot, but every inch counts. It's about eight inches. About eight inches? Yep. I mean, that counts. That's eight inches, man. And we gain it on the couch as well as we gain it. But we're going to have to put a wall right there to secure everything and make it a little bit more sturdy because this back piece right here. This is what's, uh, so that wood is to this guy. Yeah, and just keep this underneath piece of wood. Mm -hmm. and this, then, this one down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we're going to want to build off. From that and then put the yeah. pipes underneath it against the wall. It. Alright you guys, so now that we got the couch out of the way, we can take a really good look at everything that's down here. There is a lot of space right in here too that we could turn into storage that's just been unused and we haven't been able to use it. Now we got to do a lot of work um, when it comes to cleaning out and getting rid of this duck, rerouting it to the back and um, just fixing the water pipes and just dealing with all that. But Gary's getting on it, he's got his uh, squirrel cap on. Yeah, unfortunately I'm going to have to go to the store, so I'm trying to just get as much as I can get done right now, get a list going, and figure out what I've got to go buy to get this thing actually renovated and usable for us. It's going to be a lot of work, but little by little by little it's going to get there, and we're going to make this that much better. So, I'm excited. Me too. We're Let's doing do good. So we removed the bench itself as well as the back brace and we've got a pipe right in the middle as well as we've got some issues that are coming up. So let's take you on down and show you guys what we're going to have to deal with and what issues we're going to have to fix. 
All right, well, we hit a roadblock. After tearing into the couch and into this back wall, we revealed that we've got floor damage over here in the corner, as well as some wall damage over here. So we're gonna have to go through and fix this all up and get it all finished up with the shiplap right here, all the way down, as well as replace the full subfloor. And in order to do all that, I get to pull out every single thing that's in this area. A hot water heater, a water tank, a pump, all the little plumbing, all the wiring, everything that has to deal with this stupid subfloor, I now got to remove so I can fix it. I don't have to deal with this problem when we go out there in our socks. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, we're going to definitely have to postpone this and do a trip to Lowe's and Home Depot or something like that to try to get all the materials that we need for this build. Uh, but we're going to go get that this weekend. Hopefully we'll get something together for you guys for this next video coming out. But definitely stay tuned for that. If you guys like this kind of video or if you guys want to see more of it, definitely hit that thumbs up. Put a comment down below. Um, we're going to have quite a good series on this trailer plus uh, just getting everything ready to move from Arizona all the way out to Arkansas. So it's going to be one wild ride this next couple of months. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys uh, join us along for this ride and I hope you guys have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one. Later, later.